got a story for you. Look at that. <laughs> what are you talking about out there? <laughs> I think you're joking about something. What do I do here? I've been working in this shop for over 10 years, trying to give my daughter a future. What the hell's going on here, Frank? I ruined Crystal's life! We're gonna kill him. No! No! I wanted tonight to be special. Hey guys, what's going on? Yeah. How's Manch Vegas doing today? <laughs> oh man. You know, I love this film. This was just fantastic. It's one of my favorite films of the year. It's just, you guys just knocked it out of the park. So it's a real thrill to talk to you today. And John P, uh, 30 years of history with these three friends. What is the key to their friendship? You know, I think the key is, is just a simple dramatic term, which is unity of opposites, where we are different and we have conflict and we're we are attracted and we are connected because we when our when we're all together we make one complete person all of these friends it's constant conflict it's you know everyone's different and it, and it just works and you see the same like you want to create characters who can argue about any little thing and these three guys can disagree about everything but still remain uh in love and at the end of the day that's just what drama is and John B., you know, I, I love how tough Terrence is, but he's metrosexual. He spends the day at the home spa with a mud pack and everything. I mean, it says a lot about his character. Yeah, man. Look, I think, you know, look, it's it, it's the brilliance of Johnny's script. You know, these characters are so lived in and and, and, and fully realized. And I'm sure I can speak for, for Shay as well. It's, it's very rare you get opportunities to kind of to dive in like that with a script that's so full. Uh, you know, I think anytime you know, I, I think when you talk about lifelong friends, it's really the family you choose, you know, it's, it's, it's the people that you want to be with, you know, more than anyone else in the world. And they know you flaws and all. And I think these guys know all his tough talk, all of his sexual conquests, all that stuff. They know it's all masking, you know, this, this, this deep, deep insecurity. And they know exactly who this guy is. And there's just, um, you know, knowing exactly who each other are and then knowing sort of that these are the people that you'll go to when the chips are down and you're at your most desperate. I think it's, you know, it's really meditation on friendship. And you know, Shay, I just saw you in the gateway and this could not be a further character away from that one. And I love Packy's look and you're wearing the beanie today, you know, so I just, I just love that. So full disclosure, that full disclosure, I have a hair it's for something new. And I'm like, I just don't want to look. I don't want you guys to have to look at that. For, for that. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I was going to say, you know, Charlie Chaplin did his tramp character. He just went into a closet and grabbed a few things. What about that beanie? I mean, how much thought did you put into that? Because you wrote it high on your head and everything. Uh, you know, I, I more than I'm trying to think more than any any other character that I had played in a, in a while. I depended on these two guys because this thing, as you know, was a play and it had a life of its own. So when you're stepping into something like that, it was an, for me, it was an enormous amount of pressure and um, to get it right for them, for myself and everything we did, I leaned on both of them. I mean, we, it, 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 it was, it was a process, you know, of uh, elimination of addition and, you know, every little thing with him. I, yeah, I, I, I mean, I love him. I love him. I love everything about him. Well, you know, what I thought was really unique about this is that, of course, both of you guys, John and John, you did the City production in L.A. You did Broadway. Uh, so, you know, Shay was coming into this after you guys were seasoned with the dialogue and everything. But it seemed like this wasn't written. It seemed like at most of the times you guys were having conversations. It almost seemed like we were spying on three friends in this garage. I mean, that's very much the intent of, of the piece. I mean, the best compliment I think we ever consistently got for the play was people would say, I forgot I was watching a play. I just felt like I was hanging out with that guy. I really tried to take that concept, that philosophy into the film. And, you know, we, we, the three of us sat at a table and worked on the script for months. We rehearsed it like a play before we even started shooting. So it was very much lived in. And there was, a, you know, there's a there was a large degree of improv on riffing. And then in the edit, we kind of pulled it together. And there was always a very distinct plot. There was always key lines that were needed. There was like, you know, creative Darwinism, like what's the best thing that will work. But I mean, I remember putting the camera on John and Shay 
on the couch, which is the scene right behind you in that thing. And we shot for like an hour. And I mean, that's like a whole short film right there, what they came up with. I mean, there was like an embarrassment of riches of, of, of so much um, great stuff that ended up getting cut. <laughs> And John B, tell me about working with old lady. You know, how was she doing in the movie? I mean, she looked like. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm a marijuana enthusiast. You know what I mean? So so I I, I felt like, you know, it was it was extraordinary. Just like, you know, when I when when uh, I, I, I play a soldier or uh, an athlete, you got to get that right. Got to get that part right. And, and I was I appreciated that John sort of let that aspect of the film uh you know, be truthful and honest, just like the rest of the part. So yeah, the old lady- That scene got pretty wild, didn't it, Johnny? That scene, <laughs> that? Got, that scene got pretty wild. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Gentlemen, yeah, thank good. you so much for joining me today. Uh, like I said, I love this film. I've been thrilled to talk to all of you and come visit us in Las Vegas and uh, I'll come to Manch Vegas and uh, we'll do a swap. All right, sounds great. Uh, yeah, good day, buddy. <laughs>